Hello friends, welcome. In this video we are going to store new menu. Okay, I have made some changes at the price here. Also in the multi-select I add a class and I'm going to show you. So the price is here, input type number and I add min and max and the step here. And also ID and name price. And uh, in the select, I add the class and also the name categories and name DRA. Okay, I'm going to add in the GitHub repository, and you can see in the link of the repository in the description. So let's work with uh, storing a new menu. Let's open the menu controller. And here we have the store method. Also here I want to create a new request. So let me open the terminal and say artisan make request uh, menu store request. I'm going to say okay. And let's open now that menu store request. Change the authorized to be true. And we need to add rules. Rules for all fields, which is a name, description, image, and price. Okay. So let's add name. It's going to be required uh, and let me copy this and paste to save some time so we have name description image and price change this to be description and it's going to be required now you can add more uh, rules but I'm going just to say Required price also is going to be required and the image. The image also is going to be image here. And let's save it. Let's close this and open the menu model and add the protected fillable here. So let's say protected, protected. Okay, dollar sign fillable, and we need to add an array with the name, price, description, and the image. Let's save it. So, name, description, image, and price. Okay. And here, instead of the default request, we need to say uh, menu store a request. Okay, and let me open also the category model, the controller, sorry, because it's going to be almost the same. So when we have the store method, the image is going to be almost the same. So let's copy this and go to the menu controller. And paste that in. Just change the folder here, not categories, but the B menus. Now with that, we are going to store a new image for the menus in the menus directory. Okay, and after that, we need to create. So let me copy this one. And also copy the return. And go here and say menu and paste that in. Now we need to return to the road menu index. Here we have a name, uh, description, image, and also the price. So let's be the price dollar sign request. 
price and save it. Let's go and check. Go to the browser refresh. Now type a name here. So I'm going to say pizza. Choose an image. And let me choose an image. Type a price here. And let me say. something like this description and now for the categories I'm not, I'm not going to add category right now let's say store and we redirected back because with <laughs> I forget sorry friends I forget that in the form we need to add the method the be post the action sorry action to be the road admin dot menus and store and also add the CSRF token and let's save it. Okay, refresh again and save pizza, choose a file. And click store and we redirect it to the menu index because in the menu controller we need to say menus not menu and save it okay now here if I go to the table and select data refresh yeah we have that the image the price and the, the image path is inside the public menus. Okay, so if I go also here in the storage app public, yeah, we have a new category named menus. And here we have the file, which is the Laravel PNG. Okay. Now I want to display the same thing we have done with. Uh, categories okay so let's go and copy what we have in the categories index so we have in the body this for each and let's copy that and go to the menus index Here we have the table head after that we have the body and let's remove all and paste that in just now instead of categories we need to say menus and now select all the category and say menu okay now here we have the menu name, okay, menu description, image. Now the road here is going to be menus. Sorry, uh, menus here and also down there menus. Let's save it. And uh, go to the menu. And yeah, here we have pizza. Uh, just we need to change here to be image and I think yeah here is going to be image here is going to be the description but I'm not going to display the description instead I'm going, I'm going to add the price here and remove the category okay so let's uh, open this header here and name this is going to be image, category is going to be price, or remove this category because we have the price down there, we have the price here. 
and uh, let's save it now we have a name image and here is going to be the price okay let's save it and refresh and yeah name image and the price and here we have the did and delete let's create another one let's say uh, salad and choose a file inertia okay choose some description and click store and we redirect it back to the menus and here we have the name the image and the price okay friends now how we can uh, add uh, categories is very easy just go to the menu controller in the store method we need to check if uh, the request has categories we and we are going to say Instantiated here the menu, dollar sign menu is going to be with the, this menu and say here uh, menu categories attach and add the request. categories okay let's save it let's open also can the create and in the option we need now to add the value to be the category id and let's save it refresh unexpected token where is this in the menu controller we need to and this one and refresh okay let's say menu with category choose a file when they choose this one add the price and select categories and click store we redirected back we have this menu with category here and if i open the table plus refresh yeah we have all three but in the category menu we have category id3 and menu id3 okay so we make a relationship with the menu with categories okay friends uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one